Welcome to the 6 o'clock hour. We are following breaking news this morning out of Lee County as residents at a condo complex are rattled this morning after a fire. Good Friday morning, Southwest Florida. I'm Miriam Zamorano. And I'm Amy Wegman. Thank you for watching Fox 4 Rising. This fire happening at the Provincetown condo complex off of College Parkway in Fort Myers. And that is where we find our Julian Glover. He's got more information for us. Julian. Good morning to you, Amy. If you're just joining us on Fox 4 Rising at 6 a.m., let's get you caught up to speed with what we know so far. So far, the fire marshal confirms to us that four families are displaced this morning and two men are currently being treated in the hospital after a fire breaks out at the condo complex behind me because of a stove that was on. Uh, excuse me, because of a pop that was on the stove caught fire. Now, at new at 6 a.m., we're getting our first look inside of that actual condo where the fire broke out. I want to show those pictures that were sent to us from the uh, from the fire chief here from South Trail. You can see lots of damage inside. Some of those rooms actually unrecognizable. There's also a picture of what appears to be the kitchen there, and you can definitely see it looks like that's where most of the damage currently is. Now, once again, uh, the South Trail Fire Department tells us that the call came in around 2.30 this morning. Uh, now, when they initially got the call, they, it was rep on reports of smoke showing. By the time they got to the scene, it was fully engulfed in flames. Now, they quickly worked to extinguish that fire, but we are told the wooden framing of the condo made it pretty difficult for them to fight the blaze here. We're also learning that it started on the first floor, and the man who lives inside of the apartment complex where the fire broke out once again because of a pop that was left on the stove. That's confirmed to us from the fire marshal. We're actually learning that he tried to fight the fire uh, with a fire extinguisher that was there. Now, once again, four families are displaced this morning. They're being helped out by the Red Cross, and two men are being uh, treated in the hospital for their injuries. One of them, the man that tried to fight that fire with the smoke detector. Now, we're also learning that there was a fire, a smoke detector that was inside of the home, but unfortunately, it didn't have any batteries inside. So, of course, the state fire marshal reminding anyone, if you have a smoke detector, make sure you have batteries in it and make sure you're continuing to change those batteries so it actually does its job and it works. For now, we'll send it back to you in the newsroom. All right, good reminder, Julian. Thank you. Hopefully, everybody ends up okay. We'll be checking with you, in with you throughout the morning.